Welcome back everyone to another episode of the Outer Worlds. I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah! We're going to commit insurance fraud. Sorry, it's been I think two days since my last session, so yeah, I'm just slightly lost. But not anymore. I see you're still in one piece. However, you never know when that could change. Consider our accidentally torn into tiny fragments coverage. <laughs> Note that all of your fragments must be recovered and must be smaller than a standard bit cartridge for the payouts to kick in. What? Note that all of your fragments must be recovered and must be smaller than a standard bit cartridge for the payouts to kick in. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Why is your office on Monarch? We're not on Monarch. For all practical and tax-related purposes, this office is an official enclave of Byzantium. Mm, if you say so. Oh, it's certainly not about what I say. That's all down to our legal team and our CFO. Uh, bloody bureaucracy. <laughs> I need to change the beneficiary on Marilyn Fenhill's life insurance policy. I remember that one. That's the young socialite who broke her neck, right? <laughs> of course, no one remembers me for the marauders I've killed or the bits I've stolen. Typical. <laughs> that claim was airtight. Our best investigators couldn't find an exclusion for that one. Let's stay on topic. I just want to change her beneficiary. <laughs> You can't, of course. Only Miss Fenhill can assign her beneficiaries. And she's dead. If we let every friend, relative, and acquaintance change a policy like that, people would do it all the time. Imagine the paperwork. Oh, I can imagine. Okay, but how would I change it? Oh, you mean hypothetically. Well, hypothetically, you'd access the terminal in the back room that contains data on all our policies. And you'd theoretically add the beneficiary of your choice. But you wouldn't actually do that, of course. That would be fraud. Yes, it would. It would be fraud. <laughs> I've got 1,463 bits here. And a hell of a lot more than that that I'm not telling you about. <laughs> Let's say you can do it. I'm forbidden from accepting bribes, no matter how tempting. Hmm, do I need to double it? Look at it as a fine that I'm paying in advance. <laughs> the employee handbook doesn't say anything about that. Very well. <laughs> I'll need the name of the new beneficiary. Um, Ellie Fenhill? If you say so. <laughs> The payouts will flow exclusively into the new account at the start of the month. I hope Ms. Fenhill enjoys her newfound prosperity. Yes, it's all coming together. Can we talk? <laughs> yeah, sure, let's talk. In front of... I know my audience can't see it, but I'm kind of tilting my head to the right. In front of the, uh, employee. <laughs> Insurance employee. Well, let, let's go out here and talk away from the, I'm now tilting my head to the left, insurance employee. You really did it. Give these payouts a few years and I'll be rolling in it. Congratulations, Ellie. Hey, you did the real work. All I had to do was not be dead. I'm just glad my folks aren't going to live off that awful story they made up. Maybe now they'll have to go back to real jobs. <laughs> what are you going to do with all those bits? Come on, I thought we were celebrating. <laughs> you want me to think about the future? Uh, guess not. Better to figure things out as you go. If only you could have been my chief surgeon back in the day. Anyway, enough of that. You did a job for me, so here's your fee. I got a framed insurance check. 
I appreciate it, but I didn't do this for the money. Could have fooled me with all your tough talk. What's gotten into you? You're my friend, Ellie. That's what friends state. You sure? Because my kind of friends will pick your pocket clean while they're getting hammered with you. Friendship is important. What else are we fighting for if not for the people we care about? <laughs> At least that's what I think. You don't have to get all mushy about it. Still, maybe you've got a point. Maybe it's good to watch someone's back now and then so that one day they watch yours. So you just keep the money. One of us has to look out for your interests. Sounds good, Ellie. Wouldn't want to be indebted to me, huh? <laughs> it's nothing personal. It's just the closest thing I've got to a code. Anyway, enough of the touchy-feely, huh? Ooh, I got a rare achievement! Let's get a move on. Alright. Where do we go now? Uh, acquire the science weapon on Grandbreaker. Attend the audition. Find and kill Eva. <laughs> Model outfits for Celeste, oh god. Speak to Celeste while wearing a suit of armor and headpiece from the following sets. Iconoclast, Marauder and Spacer. So I basically just gotta look for Iconoclast, Armor, Marauder, Armor and Spacer. Oh, it, so I'm basically going to have to go looking for uh, vendors. Now there's a woman who knows what she wants. For uh, armor. Elite troop armor, Aramid ballistics. I don't think... Okay. So Aramid, Marauder, Iconoclast... Her. She's about as welcoming as a wrench to the face, and half as tender. So I gotta look for. Hey, Dad. Knock, knock. Go away, wife. We gotta look for uh, different makes of armor. Aramid ballistics. Wait, ordnance control armor. Ordnance, ordnance, elite troop. Is it the name? That I'm looking for? Or the maker? Hmm. Here, let me... Go to... Where is it? Where am I? Okay, I'm in Fallbrook. I think I need to go to... No, not the Borst Factory. Um, is it up here? Amber Heights? Yeah, it is Amber Heights. Because that's where the Iconoclasts are. So, if I can get the Iconoclasts, the Marauders, and... What was the other one? The armor and head pieces of those, I should be good. Yeah, precisely what Rose is wearing. Good luck in all that you do. Thank you, Rose. Ah, crazy town. Never change. Wait, MSI Trooper? This place wasn't half so pretty in the cereals. Okay, wait, wait. Don't I have some of that already? Uh. MSI Elite, MSI Elite, we've got mining gear, patch, low pressure helmet, riot control, hibernation, standard troop armor, riot control, moonman helmet. Okay, that's Spacer's choice. 
But that's clothing, I think. What do I have on me now? Ordnance. Wrapped it on handlers. And what were those for? Okay, persuade and dialogue skills. Perfect. I think I have some of this stuff in uh, my ship's uh, um, storage locker. Hey, Ash. If you got in your mind that I want company, you're wrong. Nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. Buy yourself a drink. I can't repay no kindnesses now. All right, so I reckon one of the most interesting places I've been is the hot pole. You know what that is? No idea. This moon ain't big enough to rotate. It's locked. One side always facing Olympus, the other always facing away. Olympus might not be a star, but it throws off ass loads of heat. Monarch's hot pole is the part that's closest to the gas giant. It's in the middle of this big mountain plateau. Volcanoes so high, the peaks are in space. Interesting. If there's no air, how did you survive? O2 breathers. The heat from Olympus is worse, though. Close your eyes, you can see rays bursting through your eyeballs. Little streaks of light. The funny thing is, dead in the middle there's just smooth rock. Circular light. All the dust blown away. Pale gray with hair fine cracks all over. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I was lightheaded from the O2. But I felt like I had to take off the breather for a moment. Put my ear to the ground. And? I wonder now if I imagined it. Trick of the air. The heat. It was at the edge of hearing. Deep down. Far off. Irregular. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. S.O.S. A bird pecking out of a shell. <coughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> there is a ground quake now. I hold my breath. Because I don't know if it's Olympus squeezing us for gravity, or wings getting stretched. I'll, uh, I'll leave you be. Because that doesn't even sound like SOS anymore. Alright, what do we have here? Standard troop helmets, fire control, fire control, ordnance. Baka! Actually, can I sell stuff? Yeah, I probably should. Sell the ionized paper knives, sell the hunting rifle ultra, and I may keep the plasma rifle. Maybe. Probably should sell the light machine gun. Shrink ray. <laughs> oh boy, I probably should sell some of this stuff. Sell you. And I think that's it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Wait. Here we go. Melee weapon. Sell. And then all this junk I can sell. Buy some more of the mag picks. And I'm good. Okay. So I feel like this quest is going to take a while to complete so I'm gonna mosey on to the other quests um, the shimmerists last experiment the evidence you found in Cascadia and on HRS 1084 convinced Lilia Hagen that Dr. Eva Chartrand is at the center of an alien invasion conspiracy she wants Chartrand killed for the good of humanity Chartrand is a board-sponsored shimmerist, a scientist who manipulates the nuclein, uh, nuclein of plants and creatures from Earth to survive on colony worlds. Interesting. Alright, let me mosey back to uh, Fallbrook. And get my ship. Ah, 
I forgot to ask. How are uh, how are you peeps today? Feeling down good? I'm doing swell. Slight sarcasm in my voice because my foot still swells up because of that stupid blood clot in my ankle. But hopefully another few months of taking these blood banners and it'll all go away. Hopefully. I'm praying to whichever god exists that this blood clot you just Arthur today? goes away. Hopefully. As long as I don't start coughing up blood and have difficulty breathing, then I'll be good. Because if that starts happening, then I'm not going to be living for very long. <laughs> and I still have a lot of games I want to play, record, and upload for your viewing pleasure. Hey, da! We gotta go back to Byzantium. Did I do all the companion quests? I don't think I did Sam's yet. I'll do him later. I mean, help him out later, not <laughs> fucking do him later. <laughs> Captain, Felix and the Vicar are arguing again. Is that so? I'll let them argue. Wait, hold on. Uh, transfer. Um, how do I? Okay, there we go. Hephaestus. 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 Satellite contractor helm. Ordnance. Durable. Standard troop helm. Overalls mechanics. Uh, standard troop armor. Iconoclast helmet. Okay, cool. So I'll add you. But then I don't have anything else. Bugger. Okay, let me put some of this stuff away. Stealth skills, lockpick, uh, ranged weapon spread, ranged weapon skills. The rest of this I can put away. So I have one spacer's choice helmet, one iconoclast helmet. Bagger. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be completing that quest anytime soon. Time to go back to Byzantium. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. And on that note, I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you enjoy the next one, too. Choose. Alright, Ellie, you're in. Felix, you're out. Um, Pavati, 